Hi guys, Dior's here. So, I'm not sure if any of you guys seen one of my old, old videos I did about three years ago. Like one of my first, quote unquote, first prepping videos. But this is that, uh, 72 hour kit that I made for my pickup truck. Um, I've done some updates on it over the years, like little updates. But overall, it's largely remained the same. Um, tonight I'm actually going to go ahead and do a major overhaul on this. And you guys are going to get a chance to see this. So, yeah. Um, so I will be actually replacing the actual bag here. I'll be doing some minor updates to the first aid kit. And then, uh, yeah, this will be the new bag right here. Um, as you can see, oops, if I can hold the camera steady. You can see it's got molly webbing. Um, this is a 5.11 tactical brand bag. Um, really heavy duty, superior construction. It's actually got more pouches and everything. Yeah, remember this bag I got for free, so I'm not complaining. I got this bag for free, but I'm going to have to retire it. I'm going to have to get a, like I said, do a little bit of an update because there's some more gear I'd like to add into this bag. Because this bag, as you can tell, it's pretty well packed. It is busting at the gills. So, And this bag right here, it's actually got an extendable pouch. Hopefully I won't have to extend, but we'll find out here. Um, anywho, yeah. I just one of the things I want to point out here. I can tell you some advantages right now between the two bags and disadvantages. One advantage with this bag, obviously, um, should be, you know, in theory, I should be able to carry a lot more stuff in it than I can with this one. Um, this bag is also much, much more solid, much, much more rigid. I mean, these straps are, I don't see those straps breaking anytime soon. And it's got, got a little uh, strap that goes across the chest, so you can a little bit further uh, evenly distribute the weight. Whereas that bag doesn't, okay? Um, the one disadvantage I can say about this bag versus this bag... This bag screams, hey, everybody, you know, in WRL, hey, everybody, look at me, I'm all tactical, look at my tactical molly webbed bag, look at that, I must have a lot of valuable shit in here, why don't you come over here and steal, try to rob me or something, you know what I mean, that's, that's gonna be one downside with this bag, where I won't have that too much of an issue with this, this bag, however, this bag is bursting at the seams, so that is a bit problematic, I might have an issue with this bag because, oh, we added more, some more stuff, anyhow. I did pick up some more. I did pick up some more stuff. I'm gonna be adding to this bag. Uh, not everything here is actually going in that bag. Um, first and foremost, starting off with the ammo. I just thought I'd show you some of the ammo that I was able to get today. Um, ammo is just ridiculously hard to get. I want to emphasize none of this ammo is going in any of you know in any of my bags. It's just uh, going to be added to the stockpile. But man, this stuff was expensive. Uh, this is 223 ammo. Uh, it's uh, 62 grain. It's uh, also a hollow point. Yeah, if you look at that, those are hollow points. These are 20 round boxes. I bought 9 of them. And that was all I could buy. That's all I could find was 9 of them. 36 bucks a piece. Man, I bought 9 boxes of these. I already loaded 2 boxes into a 40 round P-Mag. I gotta tell you, I mean, that's some really nice looking ammo. But hopefully I won't have to use it anytime soon. I'm gonna... I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go find my other P-Mag. I, I got one that's kind of MIA right now, but I'm pretty certain it's still loaded with 223. I'm gonna reload it with some uh, with some of this uh, 223 hollow point. And then this stuff, man. I'd never seen this before. But, so this is 45 auto. Okay. 230 grain jacketed hollow points. Supposedly. I'm just gonna open this up real quick. Get a good look. Come on. Got one of these things open. There we go. Supposedly, and I, I don't, I, I couldn't confirm this because I haven't shot these yet. Supposedly, these are tracer rounds. So I've been looking for tracer ammo for my AR-15s, not for my 45. But you know what? I will do a video of me shooting these off. Uh, I'll probably go out to the national forest or something when I go do when I go camp camping again, and uh, we'll try shooting a few of these in low light. See how they. See how they do. See if they really are tracers. But I only got like six boxes because these two were also very expensive. They're like, I want to say 25, 25, maybe $28 a box. Bought six of them. And got some of the semi jacketed hollow point ammo for 357. And then I got some super expensive jacketed hollow point ammo for 357. Supposedly this stuff is supposed to be able to punch through soft armor. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. I don't know why my camera's upside down, but sorry. Alright, yeah, and this is just number four. Number four uh, turkey load for 12 gauge shotgun. They didn't have any buckshot, and I couldn't find any 9 mil, so 
Yeah, that's, that's pretty much the haul for the ammo. All right, the rest of the stuff, though. The rest of the stuff's going to be going in to the bag, with the exception of these two. Um, these I'm going to reserve for my uh, two plate carriers. And uh, I think I'm only going to put, like, one of these in my... Uh, maybe one or two in the bag. I'm not sure. I haven't quite made it up my mind. I know one of these is going to go in the plate carrier. And, uh, yeah, a couple of these will be going to the plate carrier, and one, one or two of them will be going to the bag. But yeah, we're going to be up doing some updates, so yeah, just bear with me with the uh, movie magic, and uh, we'll get this thing uh, popped open, and we'll see what goodies I got in there right now. Alright. Alright, as you can see, this is pretty much largely remaining the same. Put the bag down a little slower. Yeah. We're going to be retiring this one. I don't know, I might use this for like a smaller bag. I don't know, smaller. 72 hour kit or something. Like a secondary, like an auxiliary that I can, if I have a passenger riding with me, I can just like, here you go. Freaking dropping the damn phone, man. Freaking. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Like I said, I have that handed off as an auxiliary kit. Anyhow. Yeah, so I did do some minor changes since the last time you've seen it. Now, in the original video, if you remember, I had six MREs, six military grade MREs. Now you can see, um, I did swap them out, uh, like a few of them out. So now I've got just four MREs, but I've got six Mountain House meals. So the idea is basically two of these Mountain House meals, I'd ration these out. Two of these would be basically one day's worth of, you know, calories. Now granted, I'll probably be, I'll probably be operating a little bit on a calorie deficit, but the idea behind this bag, and I, like I said, I have to emphasize, the idea behind this bag is not to be used as a bug out bag. This bag is to be used as a get home bag for me to get home ASAP, okay? Um, I've got many different items here for many different reasons. I'm going to have to, I'm actually going to have to step up a little bit on certain things like uh, my water. Uh, I just don't have enough water. Uh, back in Connecticut, when I set this bag up, back when I was still in the Navy, um, and we were, I was living anywhere between, I want to say I was living probably about 90 feet above sea level, maybe a little bit less than that. At any point in time, I was probably, you know, like I said, no higher than maybe 20, 20 feet, 20 feet, maybe 90 feet at times above sea level. So, I didn't have the issue of the altitude, and uh, it was also a lot more humid because we were right off the coast. Whereas here in Colorado, where I live, I'm like 6,700 feet above sea level. And this is a semi-dry, semi-arid environment, so I'm going to have to step up the water situation. I'm going to need to get a little bit more water. That's probably the reason why I have to change out the bags. Um, some of the other things I added, I don't remember if I had this added to the orig on the original video or not. I'm going to assume not. This is just a simple bobber, single weight, a little bit of fishing line, a single hook. Um, again, this would be more or less, if I had time and I needed to supplement my food, I could with something like this. I'm not sure if I had this in the original video. I don't remember. It's been a while since I watched it. But this is a emergency fire starter. Uh, I made some uh, Vaseline coated cotton balls. And these will go up with a little bit of a spark. With that being said, I've also added this. A magnesium block with a flint striker. Okay. So actually just a few strikes of the flint on this onto that cotton, those cotton balls. They go up pretty, pretty dang quick. Um, I also added the small tube of uh, SPF 50 sunscreen. I mean, being white and having a huge lack of melanin in your skin, you, you, you tend to burn up pretty quickly in the sun. And then I got some, uh, some uh, freaking bug spray, bug repellent. I'm not sure. Might not need this so much now that I'm in Colorado and Connecticut. That was a different story. I definitely needed it. Uh, Road Atlas. Added a Road Atlas. This is just a pocket size one. As you can see, the pretty, pretty small maps. I mean, I'm pretty decent with uh, knowing what, what is what here in Colorado. Yeah, see. Oh, damn it. I had the page. I hate having to do this one handed, man. This is a pain in the butt. I'm going to just set this down real quick here. Freaking flip this thing right open. There we go. Yeah, see? Colorado. Come on, focus, you damn camera. Focus. Nope. Still not cooperating today. But yeah, that's that's the... This is it. Like, nothing real detailed. It doesn't go into city maps. It just goes into just general highway and interstate maps. That was another thing that I added for an update. Um, I don't remember if I had these in the original video or not. But nail clippers. I figure those are pretty important. Um, you know, if and when the shit hits the fan. If and when my truck breaks down. Or if and when I get stuck in a snowstorm. I don't know 
what shape my fingernails or toenails are going to be. And you know, it sounds kind of silly, right? It sounds, it sounds kind of kind of girly, right, to be worried about your nails. But um, if your toenails get too long and you start getting ingrown toenails and you're going to have to kind of hoof it out there on foot, that is going to be a long-ass walk, especially if it's like we're talking like a couple hundred miles away from home. That's going to be a long-ass walk with an ingrown toenail. Same goes for if your fingernails get chipped or anything like that. You're going to have a hard time if, say, you accidentally split your fingernail all the way down the side because you let it grow out and you let the dead part get chipped. So that's one of the reasons why I added that. All right. But, yeah, some of the stuff. Oh, yeah. I added this cup here. This, I'm pretty certain, wasn't in the original kit. Um, this is how I can boil some water, mostly for these, you know, and some spoons to go with these. Uh, I don't remember if I had paracord. I don't think I did, but if I didn't, well, here it is right here. Obviously, I still got the notepad and the roll of electrical tape. Um, one of the things I'm going to be upgrading is this knife. Again, I don't remember if this knife was originally in the bag, you know, when I did, first did the video for this bag. I will send you a link somewhere in the description. You'll find a link to click on, but... Yeah, this knife's going to be getting replaced here real quick. And I got some stuff in this first aid kit I'm going to have to replace too. Give me a second. I'm freaking having to do this one hand. This is a pain in the butt. I really should just set the camera down. Yeah, good enough. Yeah, I got another cheapo knife in here. I might have to go in and replace. Yeah, let's see. Another cheapo Walmart knife. Actually, this is probably slightly better than this first one. Yeah, those are just gonna, these are gonna get replaced. These are cheap Chinese made blades. Like I said, these are probably about two or three bucks a piece over at Walmart. So we'll be upgrading them. And then, yeah, like I said, I gotta add some stuff to this. Um, namely, I, I need to get some quick clotting, uh, some sort of anticoagulant in here. Alright. Um, these will be gone. Uh, I don't know if these are still edible now at this point. I mean, three years later, these have been sitting in this bag, which has been sitting in the back of my truck. So, yeah, these, gone. <sighs> Alright, so we'll do some more ma movie magic, all right? Alright, here are the two knives that are going to be replacing these che cheap uh, Chinese-made pieces of shit. Alright, so I've got a, this is a Puma. They call it a Puma SGB uh, Pounce 350, or sorry, 3507. Really, really solid knife. I actually have one of these as a regular carry knife. I wanted to get two of these, but I ended up buying the last one on the shelf over at Bass Pro. These are about 30 bucks. It's a German-made uh, steel blade. It's got an all-steel uh, frame, and actually these two uh, grips on the handle themselves, those are also steel. So, yeah, just 100% steel. There's not one single bit of plastic on here and then this one's a $20 little compact Gerber knife I'm not real happy with this one this one still feels a little cheap a little chintzy but hopefully it'll hold up better than those Walmart knives um, it is a little bit more compact so I'm thinking that I'll probably put this one in the first aid kit you know you need a good knife for the first aid kit might have to do some impromptu surgery not that I recommend it very least potentially cut away articles of clothing around a wound area so you can get you know, uh, get to the wound a little bit easier to clean it out and uh, hopefully button it back up. So that's a couple of so the So one of the interesting things All I right. found over there at Bass Pro was this two-on-one shovel. Um, it's got this saw that stores in the handle and this handle telescopes. Uh, I'll have to figure out how to better use it, but I like... You know, I'm going to pull this out because it's going to fall out the second I move it. Um, I like the fact... That this has a locking mechanism to keep this shovel blade from trying to fold up on you. This actually looks a lot more solid than my uh, Coleman's folding shovel that I had. Actually, I still have it. I think it's sitting in the back of my truck. I'm not sure what the hell I have where I have it right now. But yeah. So that's going to be something that that bag never had. It's going to be a folding shovel and a uh, yeah, saw. The other thing, I'm going to be adding a small uh, hatchet. So. I chose this really thin one because it's a little bit more lightweight. I'm already going to have a lot of extra added weight when I go to change out the water. Um, one thing I almost forgot to mention. So I'm not going to have to worry about rotating these MREs out because these ones, I've already changed them out twice. Um, I changed them out last year 
I want to say either October or September. So yeah, these are these are still good. And actually, I found that the ones I was eating they were still perfectly edible even after sitting in the back seat of my truck for you know God knows how long. Um, I'm gonna be changing out all this, all the water, uh, especially those propels. They're uh, they're starting to look a little green. I don't know if that's just me. They're starting to look a little green. Um, these are 16. I think these are yeah. 16.9 fluid ounces and uh, yeah where I'm gonna be changing them out with these these are 24 fluid ounces so 500 milliliter or 16.9 ounces 24 ounces or 710 milliliter and then yeah that big old bottle is gonna be gone um, I'm surprised it didn't get any growth or any floaties in it because I've had water stored in my trunk of my car before and even in the backseat of my truck and was like what the crap man it starts getting little little growths algae growths i'm surprised it hasn't gotten that so might as well just go ahead and change it out um this water over here this is the uh this is supposed to be the stuff that's ph balanced it's supposed to have uh supposed to have already have electrolytes in it these are uh 1.5 liter or uh 50.7 fluid ounces so just a little bit more than uh one and a half quarts each so this should pretty much take care of the water and hopefully I can get all six of these bottles of propels in there and these are bigger than the other ones but hopefully I can get them in there so I will be just shy of what well no no I'll be shy of like a gallon and three quarters of water so a little bit more water than before uh, I'm gonna be changing out this paracord I'm not real happy with it because it's kind of bulky I had a I'm trying to figure out what the heck I did with that other paracord I had a bundle a little bit more tightly. Yeah, maybe I, maybe I left it upstairs, but I'm gonna be changing that out with a different bundle of paracord. All right, and uh, last but not least, we're gonna be adding some dish soap. Of course, it won't be this whole bottle here. I got these little travel size bottles over at the Dollar Tree, so I'll fill up probably about two of these. Put those in the bag, and uh, yeah, I need to get these toothbrushes upgraded, but I forgot to go buy some toothbrushes, so and these will stay for now. Eventually, I'll get those switched out, some better ones. Um, yeah, so that's about it. All right, uh, we will continue. Okay, so two items. I don't know if I discussed. I don't even know if I had them in uh, the original video. But these are uh, emergency ponchos. I got these at Dollar Tree. I had two of them. Again, I built this kit with the intention of having potentially two people using this kit. We're gonna, I'm going to actually throw that out. That's going to just be... This is just going to be for single person only, so... These, bye bye. And uh, I'm gonna be putting this in there as a full rain suit. Um, I get these at the truck stops, mostly at Flying J's. I've got one in my bug out bag, and I put bug out bag in air quotes because that too is also not really a bug out bag. That is also a get home bag. That one in particular is designed for me when I'm, if and when I'm ever driving over the road, that I'll be able to get back home. That one's actually got a lot more food and supplies in it. Than this one will so this one's still a little bit scaled down and i finally found that paracord so this is the old paracord um i'll probably use this for something else but it's not gonna go in this bag anymore and believe it or not this is actually how i got this paracord i did not wrap this up like this this is how i got it man this is pretty lousy where this paracord right here i got it from uh, big r like this it's actually not like much tighter bundle you see that really nice and compact this not so much Actually, this is a little bit stiffer. I don't know if this is a thicker line or not, but this one's also supposedly 550 rated. 550. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'll be doing away with this one. All right. Now to the next items. So one of the items that I need to address a little bit better in this kit than I did the last time. I need to get some sort of shelter established. Um... Probably won't need to use half the stuff if uh, anything happens and I happen to be, say, about 20 or 30 miles away from home. But if we are talking about me, say, being like a couple hundred miles out, like I'm up in the mountains, because that's what I sometimes do, um, then I'm probably going to need some more stuff. Originally, I just had this uh, Mylar emergency space blanket. I'm still going to keep this in here, but I'm going to add a tarp. So we've got a little bit more of a substantial shelter. This is a cheap tarp. I think it's like three or four bucks. 5 by 7 it's lightweight, uh, light duty, not really all that durable, but 
I just need something that'll get me by. You know what I mean? This isn't meant to be permanent. This is just meant to be... This is meant to be used as a means to get home. This is not a means of bugging out. Alright. So, we will continue on. Alright, I am going to be adding two more mountain house meals. So, this will increase... This will actually increase the uh, food situation from... Well, let's say I think right now I had it like at seven days, so... Should increase it to about about eight days, almost nine days worth of food. So, yep, that'll be the next thing. So I'm gonna be changing out my chem lights here. Um, these are definitely old and expired. They probably still work, but you know, I'm not gonna take that chance and assume that they they do they do work. These are still good. They're still expiration date. They don't expire. This one don't expire till the twenty second. Or sorry. Looks better till sorry, uh, September 2022. One of them, I think, let's see, that one expires in February. I might have to go check, go look through all my, make sure I get all of them with matching expiration dates. That one's also February of next year. Anyhow, yep, yeah, that's one other item. Um, so we're starting to fill up the bag here a little bit with some of the old supplies. I just went ahead and made the ultimate decision to swap these out for the three individual bottles of uh, water purification tablets. So I actually got three of these. So one bottle of these equals two of these. So yeah, now I can, I've actually pretty much tripled my ability of uh, purifying water and uh, I only added one additional bottle to do it. So yeah, uh, got hygiene in here, uh, just general survival items and my fire starter stuff in here. I'm actually probably going to stuff the uh, chem lights in here. Um, i got a flashlight here. I'm going to be... Yeah, this is a headlamp flashlight. I'm going to be stuffing all these uh, wet one wipes in here. And uh, I thought this was an expandable couch. Uh, my bad. I guess it's not. <laughs> Whoops. Different. This is actually for a uh, camelback. But uh, looking at the inside of this, it looks like this also has a pouch, a separate pouch, believe it or not, for... A uh, steel plate, AR-500 steel plate, so go figure. <laughs> I guess I can make this into a bullet-resistant backpack. Um, this pouch right here, I've actually got three propels in here, uh, two spare, two pair of spare socks, one pair, spare pair of underwear, um, and then this is actually supposed to be for sunglasses, but I decided that this would be a good pouch for my road atlas, that uh, emergency blanket, and what we got here. Got a uh, water purification tablets and deck of cards up here too. So down here, I put the rain suit in here, and I've got the hatchet with a yeah, it comes with a sheath. I've got the hatchet in here. Um, about the only place I could safely store the shovel is over here. And believe me, I'm gonna be storing more gear in here other than just the shovel. This is a zip here. Yeah. So. Yeah, this has got a lot of pouches, so... Yeah, hopefully I can get everything to fit. That's that's the plan. Hopefully I can get all this stuff to fit. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be changing out these uh, hand warmers. That's why I bought this whole new pack. I'm not going to put this whole pack in there, but I'm going to put at least three or four in there. So, yeah. Yeah, hopefully, next clip you see, I'll have this all buttoned up. All right. All right, so this is the uh, finished product here. We've got it all stuffed up with as much stuff as I can fit in there. Um, yeah, this bag was only a little bit bigger. I would say maybe 50% more storage capacity than that other bag. I still wasn't actually able to get absolutely everything I wanted in there. Um, so I actually had to leave three of the propels out. And I actually downgraded them with uh, three slightly smaller propels. These are the 24-ounce ones. I downgraded three of the six of the 24 ounce propels down to the 16.9 fluid ounce propels or should say uh 500 milliliter propels i wasn't able to get all the mountain house i was able to get one extra mountain house in there and i had to leave this one out there's just not enough space couldn't put the bug spray to you know i couldn't get the bug spray to fit in there um i figure since right now primarily i'm going to be in colorado for the most part i don't have to deal with too many insects <laughs> Yeah, we got some gnats, we got some mosquitoes. I got bit up a couple times a little bit last time I went camping up in the mountains, but it wasn't all that bad, comparatively speaking, to like Nebraska or Connecticut. So, yeah, so those are the items I had to leave out. But, yeah, this is the bag. 
Um, uh, one other thing, I'm not too happy that the fact I couldn't get the uh, shovel or the axe to fit in there. I actually had a storm on the outside. I'm not crazy about doing that, but you know, got to do what you got to do if you want to carry some of the gear that you want to carry. So, got the shovel right here with this uh, quick disconnect and uh, the hatchet. I actually got strung through the uh, belt loop on the uh, on the hatchet sheath. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I got the first aid kit on the outside, so, I don't know, I mean, it's about the same weight as it was before, <laughs> maybe a little heavier, because I got a little bit more water in there, so, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's the kit right there, so, yeah, that's all I got to say, I'm Dior's, and I'm out, you guys have yourselves a good one, bye-bye. And one last thing, um, so, again, I want to further emphasize... This is not a bug out bag. This is not designed to be a bug out bag. This right here only has maybe seven and a half, possibly eight days worth of food. And maybe just shy of two days worth of water. And the only extra garments of clothing that are inside of here is one extra pair of underwear and two extra pairs of socks. That is it. That is all this kit has. So, there are people out there on YouTube that will have bags that are similar to this in size that, is, that are loaded down, and they will claim, they will make bold claims saying, well, I've got a year's worth of food. This right here, I'm telling you, is about a week's worth of food. Maybe a week and some change, okay? So, just to give you an idea, this is not for bugging out. This is for getting back home, okay? This is the get home bag. Could it? If it got pressed in the service for being used for the purposes of bugging out, say if it was like a uh, localized disaster trailing development or something like that, or you know what I mean, and I had to get out of here and uh, leave and then be able to come back when it was safe again, yeah, it could be used for that. But for living out in the woods, definitely, this would be a foolish idea. Anyhow, yep, that's all I have to say. I'm Dorson. I'm out. Bye-bye.